Wooden grain elevators like these in Keniston are the skyscrapers of rural towns. At least they were. Two of the town's three skyscrapers are coming down, but they'll live on elsewhere. Inside this elevator rests outdated machinery and wood that's been worn into art. If you run your hand across it, you can feel the history. And you can see the sculpting. If you look uh, at the, the shape of that, you can see the natural grain sculpting. The company ABMT Wood Solutions is looking to save most or all of the wood from these elevators. It's a delicate process, unlike the alternative. Elvin Herman's first project was tearing down this century-old elevator he owned in Milden, Saskatchewan. It was a liability, but he didn't want it to end up in the landfill. I just found myself allergic to, to the demolition and burning and, you know, polluting the environment. I thought there was real salvage there. We're getting rid of it. There are other owners like Herman, people who consider the elevators to be as much a part of their family's history as their hometowns. We had a few family reunions here and uh, we would uh, open up the elevator and, and uh, go up the man lift and all the kids thought that was pretty cool and you could, we, they would run over into the, into the annex, open the windows and you could look out over the town. It, give quite, it gave quite a view. But holding on to the now obsolete elevators is a burden that's either passed down the family tree or to the town. They cost thousands annually to maintain and tens of thousands more to demolish. It's one of the few communities in Saskatchewan with, with this kind of backdrop. And uh, unfortunately it comes down to finances and you can't, you can't change what's gonna happen. You know, uh, tomorrow's another day. But ABMT recognizes the elevators are made with timber that is difficult to get your hands on. It's ideal for decorative work or construction. The massive pieces can be used for mezzanine or dance floors or new housing. So this wall behind me, is a, this is a nail laminated mass timber wall. So to imagine the whole wall cut out uh, and then, and then it's, um, you add insulation to it and then you have, let's say, 10 of those panels that are now used to reconstruct a home. So the house can be put up in panels, kind of like, kind of like, I guess, like a Lego kit. <laughs> ABMT is working on a residential three-bedroom show home with those panels now. It's quicker, affordable, cuts back on deforestation, and has a low-carbon footprint. In the future, you may be standing or dancing on a wood floor that once reached for the sky. Dane Patterson, CBC News, Saskatoon.